welcome to the message. Time for the Ghetto Pass Report. That's right, the Ghetto Pass Report. Time for us to determine who has street cred and who doesn't. First up, Vivica Fox. Went from dating 50 Cent and starring opposite Will Smith to getting a DUI and developing crazy Hollywood plastic surgery face. Ghetto Pass, warning. R. Kelly. Black Zorro hasn't let a little something like child pornography charges stop him from making hits like I'm a flirt and dash, dash. I'm ghetto pass for you. Music producer and white hip hopper Scott Storch is feuding with rival producer Timbaland. Now Scott's the former keyboardist for The Roots and he dated Lil' Kim. So his ghetto pass is safe, right? Wrong. On a diss track aimed at Timberland, he used the N-word. Ghetto pass warning. The community does not know you like that. Normally, this would have been a ghetto pass revoked, but he did produce Run It with Chris Brown, and that was hot. Run our test. Oh, who are we kidding? His ghetto pass is safe for 20 years. Singing group Pretty Ricky. Four guys, one gay name. Ghetto pass revoked. Flavor Flav. He was a central member in the late 80s rap group Public Enemy. Big ghetto pass. He got hooked on crack in the 90s. Bigger ghetto pass. Robin Thicke. He sings like a brother and's married to a sister. Ghetto pass for life. Terry McMillan, married a raging homosexual, wrote a book about said raging homosexual, made a movie about said raging homosexual, then went on Oprah and cried about catching said raging homosexual with another homosexual doing homosexual things. Ghetto pass, firmly revoked. <laughs> That's not Terry McMillan. <laughs> what does Star Jones have to do with a story about marrying a raging homosexual? <laughs> oh. The message will be right back. The message.